with this Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going to talk about a feature of Photoshop that has been buried in Photoshop for well over a decade. Um, in fact, I think I've used it one time in the last 10 years. It's the automating of cropping and straightening images. It's right here. File, automate, crop and straighten photos. And if we do it here to this photo, you're going to see basically what it's going to do is dice up our photo into a bunch of smaller photos that we just look at and say, what? What is all of this? right? It doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to delete all these images and I'm going to show you the proper way to use the automate crop and straighten photos action. But before we get going, this tutorial is sponsored by our good friends over at WP Engine, where you can get the best hosting for your WordPress site. They've got their servers tuned just to support WordPress websites. It's great stuff. I run tutvid.com on their servers. I've had them for about two years. They're amazing people to work with. They've got great servers. Go to tutvid.com slash WP hyphen engine for a great deal and uh, all about how you can get started hosting your website today. There's a link in the description of the video if you're interested. So this crop and straighten photos uh, feature is actually if you're scanning or maybe photographing maybe pages of a book or baseball cards, something like that, or scanning old photos from the family photo album into Photoshop. Case in hand. I've got this old photo of myself when I first started recording years ago at my old house. And uh, what I can do is go File, Automate, Crop and Straighten Photos, and you're going to see it's going to get rid of everything. Now, obviously, the image is upside down because it just sort of like straightens it to the nearest level. But we can go Image, Image Rotation, 180 degrees, bibbidi bobbidi bam and the image is completely done. Maybe there's like one pixel of whiteness around the edges that we want to get rid of. One of the other really cool things that you can do is if you gang scan uh, film or old photos or something into Photoshop where you load up a scanner with a bunch of images. Now here I've just taken digital files and you know wrapped them with a bunch of noise and put them over a gray background. But if you scan a bunch of images together like this, you can also use the crop and straighten feature file automate crop and straighten photos and Photoshop. Well, I mean, watch what it does. It goes in and it cuts out and straightens all of the photos individually. Now, it had some trouble with the bottom of our photo, uh, the sort of the, the wallpaper from the Mac OS, right? You can see uh, this, well, not that photo, let's delete that. Now we're getting ourselves confused here. We've got our original sort of gang scanned stuff. And we've got our, our cropped image from the Mac background, but the bottom of it got chopped off. But this image, that looks good. We need to rotate that image rotation clockwise. Cool. It's all nice and straightened. That image is cut out nicely. That image is cut out nicely. That image is cut out nicely. And by the way, they're all straightened. You see that? They're not still all cockeyed and funky looking. So you can see that even when you have a big bunch of images like this, you can see they're all tilted and, you know, I just as if I just threw them onto the scanner. In one click, you can go and crop them all and straighten them all. And if they are sort of this horizontal uh, orientation, unlike this image, you don't even have to go and rotate them at all to get them, you know, nice and level. Photoshop is going to do that for you and do it literally with one click of the button. So for the crop and straighten photos feature under the automate menu in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.